everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve uh, party look. Uh, this is, uh, it's not, it's very, very easy. It's not uh, extreme or um, too dark. I was kind of going for a little bit of a lighter color, um, just a little brighter, but adding some glitz and some glam to it. So here is the look. And I'm using Swarovski crystals. And I just love this look, it's so pretty. Okay, to begin I'm going to be applying a base. And the base that I'm going to be using is Urban Decay Sin. And if I can get some of it out. I'm going to be applying it all over the eyelid. All the way up a little bit past the crease. This is just really just to make it so it doesn't crease. Especially when you're using glitter and things like that sometimes uh, the chunkier the more the more it, uh, it will tend to crease okay and then let that dry for a second make sure none of it's too thick then I'm going to be taking a NYX pencil cottage cheese it's just a pretty white frost and I'm going to be going all over the eyelid all the way up okay and really work into the corner there and under the eye. Okay. Two good bases to make a really, really, really pretty look. I mean, especially when you're going to be going to a party, you want everything to kind of stay put and not have so much glitter fall out all over your face because I hate that when that happens. And then by the end of the evening, your eyelid is no glitter, but your cheeks and your nose and your mouth and everything is full of glitter. It drives me crazy. Okay, next uh, we're going to be using the uh, Bare Minerals palette. And this is the After Party Perfect <laughs> Perfection for the... Let's see if I can get the look. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to be using just those two top colors, the Cheers and Mingle. Let's see if I can get that to work. Come on. Okay. Anyway, Cheers and Mingle. And I'll show you those two colors on the top. I'm going to be using a majority of this color and then this as a highlight and inner corner. Okay. So I'm going to be taking just a regular uh, eyeshadow brush, dipping it into that silver color. And going almost all over the eyelid and leaving just the inner corners. Pack this on really, really well. It really likes to stick to that base. And I'm going to go past the crease. Just like that. And then I'm going to be taking it under the eye. I'm going to be taking a lot of it under the eye, honestly. A lot. See, that is a lot. I hope the color is not too dark today, that lighting. And making sure it's good and patted on. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking a brush. Oh. <laughs> a big fluffy brush. I didn't grab one. Oh, I'm really good about cleaning up as I go when I'm... Uh, doing my makeup, so I'm really bad to just kind of throw everything back together. Okay, then I'm going to be taking just a fluffy brush, and I'm going to be dipping it into that white color. And what color is that again? Let's see, I believe that's Cheers. Hmm, I'm not really sure, maybe it's Mingle. I don't know. Uh, it's the lighter color though, it's that white. And I'm just going to be using it as a highlight and blending out that color. This is so easy does not have to be extreme at all. I'm going to go into the crease and heavily in the corner. Just like that. So simple. So easy. I don't think these looks have to be so hard and complex when it comes to when you be putting glitter, glitter over top of things. A lot of times the intensity or the depth, kind of, you kind of lose it. So it's much easier just to enjoy the glitter and the glam of it instead of just working so hard on the crease and then it just gets lost in the glitter. Okay, then we're going to be taking a flat shader brush 
And uh, this one's great for like wet. I got this in some kind of little cheapy uh, brush kit, but it works great. It's just one of those holiday cheap glitter kits. And I just saw it and I picked it up. But I'm going to be dipping it into a um, Sally Beauty Supply glitter gel. It's the uh, glue. And I'm going to be applying that all over the eyelid. And working it all the way up. And you really just want to pat, you don't want to rub because you will end up rubbing. It's just like any kind of glitter. You're gonna, I'm going to be going all the way up. Okay. Not real heavy in the corner. Okay, uh, then I'm going to be using some glitter. And the glitter that I'm using is a face paint glitter, actually. A cosmetic grade. So, uh, But you can use whatever glitters that you have. I'm going to be using a rainbow silver glitter. And a chunky uh, white glitter. And I'll show you this here. And again, just use whatever you want. This is a rainbow silver and a white, and I just love the mixture of the two. So I'm going to be dip I'm going to be putting it both into together into like a little box. Just a little. You can use a lid, whatever you got. And we're going to be mixing those two together with that brush that had that glitter on it. And then we're just going to pat it all on. I probably shouldn't talk so much. I know the glitter is going to start drying faster than I really, really wanted. But that's okay, it's still working. Just fine. I'm going to go all the way up to the eyelid. See that all the way up? See what a great mixture that is? It's so beautiful. I just love it. Just like that. Okay. Take a big fluffy brush if you have any fallout, I've got a little bit. Alright, and get most of that out. If you have any, just use your fingernail and flick it away. Okay, so I let that dry for a minute. I'm going to be adding uh, some Smolder by MAC on my waterline and tight line while that's drying. And I'm going to be going into those eyelashes in the corner there. Working that all the way down. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking a smudge brush and smudging that into my eyelashes, into that silvery color. Alright, just like that. And then we're going to be taking my NYX uh, liquid eyeliner. And I'm really loving this lately. I think it's a great. Uh, liquid liner. I just love the, the tip. It's just so fine and precise. And I'm just going to start kind of building. First I'm going to go, I'm not going to go, as you can see, all the way to the corner of my eye because my eye tends to droop a little bit when it comes to that. And I'm just going to work my way up just like that. And then I'm going to go in just like that. It's a great lift. You can work on that point a little bit more. We'll come back to that and then I go into the corner and work it all the way in. Just like that. And close your eyelid. I know I have a lot of people say, how do you do your eyeliner? Well, that's how I do it. Especially when it's liquid. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit more product. Try to make that line more precise. Just like that. And fill in any little circles or any little spots. Any little bitty nothing, any things. And I'm going to extend it out. Just a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Then let's see. Uh, I'm going to apply... Uh, let's go ahead and do the glitter and then I'll apply... Uh, the mascara and uh, eyelashes and come back. So, or not glitter, I'm sorry, uh, the rhinestones. Today I'm going to be using Swarovski Crystal. I'm not sure what size. Uh, I'll put it down below. Um, I did not bring the package with me. I just poured them into a, uh, a container for my face painting. So, and the glue that I'm going to be using is a Glimmer Body Art Glue. And this is great for like glitter tattoos and things like that. But it's perfect for uh, face painting and uh, rhinestones. Just wonderful. 
And you can hear the dog. Okay. And I'm just gonna be dipping the glue. Okay. And I'm going to start the inner part here. Let's see if I can get it to work today. Usually what I do is I put it down, take my finger, just like that. And then you can take the back, if you get any glitter on it, and just push down a little bit. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take a, in case I've got any glitter, I'm going to take a little towel and wipe off the corners. Okay, we're going to do it again. Okay. A little bit of that and a little bit of that. Just dipping. Just doing this right here. Okay. And I'm going to go down a little bit. Just like that. Uh-oh. See, I, when I did that, I just pick up another one. When I wiped that off, I had a little fuzzy. That's okay. Not a problem. This happens often. Again, try again. Rhinestone. Glitter. And apply. Just like that. And then tap it down. All right. We'll do it again. It's pretty tricky at times, honestly, when, you, when you're working with this glitter or this glue. It does glue, uh, the glue does go pretty fast. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to apply one more. You can do this right on the eyelid if you want to. It's really pretty on the eyelid. And the glue uh, stays really well. Okay. Uh oh. Just flip that over. Move it up just a little bit. There we go, just like that. And this will stay all day. And it will be beautiful all evening. Perfect uh, for that holiday look for New Year's Eve especially. Okay, I'm going to apply uh, my mascara and my eyelashes and come right back for you all. And I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Okay, so here is the final look. And uh, let's see. For the lips, I used uh, MAC Snob because I love Snob with uh, kind of like a silvery bluish look. Silver always looks blue on me, but I still love to wear it anyway. Okay, and then over top of it, I used Petal Plush by, uh, what is this? It's Elixir by Maybelline. It's just this gorgeous uh, frosty pink. And then on the cheeks, I decided to go kind of a purpley pink color. And I used the Milani Baked Blush in Fantastico Mauve. Fantastico Mauve. It's just this really pretty purpley and some pink color to it. It's really pretty. There we go. And yeah, oh, and the eyelashes that I used is a Demi Wisps. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, so let me know, know what you all think about this look. And hopefully, uh, definitely try it out. And let me know what you all think, and I will see you all later.